Good Sunday afternoon, guys. Good Sunday afternoon. Like we said, we're going back out to work to do this big giant aeration. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it'll take us that long because all we're doing, Rachel's going to start aerating the rest and I'm going to put uh, the rest of the fertilizer down. Mm -hmm. I can do the whole property fertilizer now, even parts that she hasn't aerated. And then I'll go start seeding stuff that she has aerated. Yeah. And then once I get to a certain point, I think I'm going to start spraying some of the stuff too you know to try to knock it all out so it's right. not too windy and there's because not i much. can seed yeah you as can long seed. as the fertilizer is done i can go and seed mm -hmm. um you know because that it, that doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't I, matter well if i it's think heavy in some areas and what i think know. is i have projected we got nine bags of seed for this property. Okay. Um. So if I get to a point that we have five bags still, you know we're gonna run over some of the spots areas that are again, a right? Bare with the seed. So. Right. Well, I know like there's one area that we're gonna have to put a couple areas in the field that we're gonna have to put more because there's no grass growing there at all. So I'm just gonna heavily aerate those areas. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're gonna hope that we can get seed. To yeah, the by the barn area. I don't think that's irrigated field. though. You said no, it's not. I thought it was, but so we'll have to put a little more seed out there. Yeah, so. to uh, you know, to compensate for there's gonna absolutely be loss in that mm -hmm. area. Definitely. Um, but he's paying us good money, and we like to see results. Yes. So we charge for results so we give our clients results and i know exactly how much seed i need for each property to be at that five six pounds per thousand mm -hmm. and with this jonathan green seed supposedly you only need three to four pounds per thousand i was reading yeah. we're overseeding well again if you guys don't know this i guess the type of fescue that is in here is called like an elite um fescue brand i guess mm -hmm. and it's spreading it's able to spread so, so. Yeah, which is nice. So let's go out there and see what we got and okay. get this done. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, guys, so we are back here. Um, we haven't hit a sprinkler head yet, so hopefully we don't hit one today. Well, I guess we won't know until they turn the sprinklers on, but they had no idea where they were. We asked them to get them marked out. They didn't know where they were, and I did my best to try to find them. So, but Rachel only has over there to finish from the oak tree back to the fence. Um, I'm going to start fertilizing everything I didn't fertilize yet, even all this, the whole hill over here, because um, I can do that before she aerates. And then I'm going to finish seeding the whole inside perimeter of the rest of the property all the way around, and then start spraying all this with the tenacity and leave all this, because Rachel can seed. She has no problem seeding. Um, and then, like we said, we have quoted out for this yard nine bags of seed so if i have extra seed after we run through if my setting was just off because it's such a big property um if my thing was off a little we'll go into the more bare spots like over here um all this over here see how it's more bare we'll put it all more over here this used to be a barn over here and we want seed we're going to seed all the way down I think it's probably about 50 feet past that. You guys seen where I mowed, had to stop mowing. I had to start mowing with the um, 48 back there. That's where we're stopping, where I started and where I ended with the beast. But this is a lot better. If you guys remember a couple years ago, we started doing this and this was all correct. There was no grass in here. Starting to look better. I'm really confident with this Jonathan Green seed us only using that, that we're gonna have really, really, really good success. So we'll see. So what we're doing this year, we're stressing to our clients that if they could at least water the grass 15 minutes a day, um, just so the seed can get wet and stay moist, I think we'll have a lot better success, um, especially because we're supposed to have two weeks of just straight dry weather. Now the dew will help, but it's not enough here to get the seed like really taking off. So at least if they can water it once a day for 15 minutes or maybe other every other day, every little bit helps. So I'm gonna go start fertilizing everything while Rachel gets that done. That's 150 pounds out. I got five to go. I might be going over something again because I'm gonna have a little extra. Um, but I'm about to knock all this out. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, this is a lot of uh, walking. 
but it's worth it um, until we get, and this definitely helped. My friend swapped out my little one and he gave me this big one. And the funny thing is the other day I was sitting there laying down and I said, man, I want to get one of these bigger spreaders to stay all stainless steel nice um, with the blocker, even though in my opinion, the blocker doesn't do much. I can go slower around the beds and not get it in. And I seen this yesterday. It was all deflecting out and still going into the beds. So I was thinking of getting this one anyway, eventually. The fertilizer I'm using doesn't have a um, tell me what rate for this spreader. I was doing 16 and I'm only, well, I was doing 17, almost 18. And I am only done three bags of uh, fertilizer. And I've done a little bit less than half. So I think I'm gonna bump this big field up to about 18. 18 and a half I think maybe nine no I'll bump it up to 19 and see how that goes um a little extra isn't gonna hurt it with the cool weather this will really grow though um just don't stop and let the fertilizer pour out onto the ground so let me get all this done Okay guys, the hardest part's done, fertilizing, because that's the heaviest seed. It's only like 20 pounds in each buck copper, and it's light. We're gonna go take a half hour break, because that's a lot of pushing. I probably just pushed a mile up and down a hill. So, break time. Look at this ramp that I just aerated up. Oh my goodness, well we are in the mountains. That's what he was digging out before. You know, I have this up to 4,000 pounds. 400 Or pounds. 400 pounds. Yeah, that's hard, man. You might have to go higher if it's yeah. not pulling. It's like pulling. Look, look at the little cores it's pulling. Yeah, because this was all driveway and barn, remember? Yeah. So. I mean, but then like some areas, look, this is a better core. Yeah. So it's just like. Hit know, and miss. Different yeah. parts are. A little thicker than others. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's go. Okay, guys. Rachel's gonna work on aerating all this year as much as she feels comfortable doing, um, and then we'll go ahead and I'll do something that I feel comfortable, and the rest will just seed on. Some parts we won't be able to aerate because it's really steep, but I'm gonna start spraying this over here with my backpack sprayer um, and get that done. Okay guys, you've seen I got this whole area sprayed. Really pretty view of the mountains there. Rachel's making progress on that. I'm about to start my next 4,000 square foot, um, which is, I got a seed first around the house. So let me go fill this back up and spray the rest over here. And then when I'm done there, I'll go seed a little more, spray a little more, and then Rachel will finish off seeding while I'm spraying. Then we'll be done this one, guys. So Rachel's out there, Mo. And my aerating the big hill as much as she can do where she feels comfortable. Okay, so I seeded all the way around the fence line, um, all the way over here. Let me get this little area a little better with some seed. But I did not all that, just from the steps all the way around the fence line and that little area there. I'm 
going to go start spraying all that areas. And if Rachel's still going, I'll see you a little bit. Rachel's done aerating everything. It's 5 o'clock now on Sunday. Um, so she's doing all the seed in this section. And then I'm going to fill her up with seed. We have about um, five more bags to put down. So she's going to do this whole section. And then she's going to come back around and do all over here. Yeah, it's always going to be hard until you get a this stand. That's why I'm only allowed to do seed. Not fertilizer? Yeah. Because I get caught on divots. Yeah, easier. Yeah, you can use that whole hopper for this whole area you're doing. Okay? Yeah. Almost done. I gotta come back and still spray this half another 40,000 square feet, but as far as seed. Well, it went off a little. So I have to reset my line. It's all right. I'm heavily seeding this area. my line. Whew. Whew. Huh. Okay. So my line's straight now. Huh. I already seeded all down there. Rachel, as you can see, areas are now almost done. And all I gotta do is come back and spray from the fence down. And then all this stuff you see will die. A lot of this is bent grass, some type of creeping grass. All these weeds will die. Okay, let me finish this. We're not gonna get to watch the mowers today. It's almost seven o'clock. Guys, the weeds are dying. That's from the other time I sprayed though. Rachel's blowing all the rest of the seed off, fertilizer. Oh, today was a good two days. A lot of work though, guys. Um, and we have like five or six tomorrow to aerate. Five, one, two, three, four. Five of them are in one development, so that'll be a good job there. But, oh man, we're beat. Okay, I still have to come back and spray from here way that way everything outside of the fence so okay guys the boss kept me out until 7 30 on a sunday night well, it's only seven well 706 wasn't a long video but we almost got that one done we only have to spray a little bit more probably me being there another hour yeah that was our biggest one guys um that well, one, was a big one yeah, that was a doozy pushing that spreader but then couldn't yeah, it be a towards bigger the, spreader right towards the end yes um, thank you so much thank you so much you know who you are because <laughs> that helped tremendously it was much easier to push that one yes much easier um the other one i am gonna admit i might have helped break it a little because i'm always like <sighs> Yeah, but it wasn't completely broken. He traded me, so he's using it for his yard. Yeah, but. he's awesome. Um, but yes, yeah, so that definitely helped a lot. But towards the end, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Yeah, I didn't know if I could. I, I didn't think I would be able to spray the rest. I was about to, and Rachel's like, you know, it's 7 o'clock. We got to go do dinner still. And Yeah. But um, guys, moral of the story on that one is... Don't be afraid to take big jobs like that. I would have did that all on my own, even if Rachel had to stay home. If she wasn't out with me, I would have did one of them all on my own. Um, just book out the right amount of days um, doing it. Um, you see, and it took us two days, not two full days. We went back and forth during the yeah. day to take breaks. If you're bidding it right, whether you have a stand-on sprayer or you're pushing it like we did, you should be making just as much profit as if you had the big machines. I mean... 
You'll right. Be, when you get your big equipment, me doing it all like this, yeah, it takes, we could cut it down to being done in one day if we want it with a stand on spray or spreader. Um, but we don't but, have it and we're not investing in it right. right now. And in the long run, once we get that, it'll cut down the time and we won't drop the bid because you got to pay for the machine still. Yeah. So like I said, if you're bidding jobs right, if you're push mowing a small yard, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Don't bid it twenty five hours because you get it done in so many much time. Bid it like you would make well not twenty five hours, but bid it like you would normally bid a job. If you think it's going to take you an hour to push mow that yard, charge sixty to eighty dollars for the hour to push mow that yard. Yeah. And then when you get a bigger mower, you'll be done that thing in a half hour, and you'll still be making the same amount of profit. You'll just be paying for your mower. It'll be yeah. easier. And then once everything's paid off, guys, like the aerator, it's all profit. Then. All and, profit. You, and you won't drop your prices still. You'll still keep them the same, even though you're getting it done faster. Yeah. And your profit will skyrocket once you pay that machine off or the machines you have. So if that just, makes sense, guys. Yeah. I'm So, and then, and in other words, um, you know, it is more uh wear and tear on our bodies at this point in time but eventually we know that we'll be able to invest mm -hmm. to make it easier on our bodies and then more wear and tear on the equipment yeah so it kind of evens it out so the moral um, of the story is don't be afraid to take on something a little bigger than you normally would do yeah i, I mean, mean we've taken on big rock jobs and not had anything to move it and people might think that we're crazy but you know what we bid it right and we're still making the hourly wage that we want so why not mm -hmm. it might take us a little bit longer to do but then also we're a little more detailed and I they're think. the bigger jobs you'll make a lot a lot of profit on the big jobs so then you don't have to run around like if technically aeration if we could do three a week that big we would be set pretty pretty well because that one paid really good for us yeah. to do that um but i mean that's not we have our clients we're not going out looking for no, more no, aerations um you know we have our set clients that have been treating their lawns all year and then there are a few like here and there that we just aerate and seed for um you know, so, or they're just brand new and now hopefully we can get them to continue with the program. Yes. But. And yeah, like Rachel said, we're not trying to pick up any more aerations unless it's a neighbor only because we're full. We have yeah. our set number of aerations we can do. We only have a limited window, probably another two weeks. We have to have everyone done mm -hmm. and that'll put us into like the first week of October. And, and that's a week and a half earlier than we did it this year and two weeks last earlier year. or last year and like two or three weeks earlier than we did it the year before yeah yeah well i just think that the weather is going to be yeah. different this year well, again we've always gone by, by the weather. weather with aerations you know people say oh it has to be done at this point but um I, we just feel like maybe we should be done a little sooner this year just because we kind of think that it is going to be get colder sooner. a cold one and if not it's just a bonus yeah. Well, guys, thanks for watching. We're done for the day. I'm not cleaning any mowers. That was enough pushing fertilizer. I know. Seed. He did say he was like, oh, maybe we'll go home and clean the mowers. But no, it took a little longer. We'll get to that eventually. We have more aerations tomorrow. So yes, I was telling like five more at one place. Yeah. So I think we'll end up doing them five. And then I have another five or six for the next day because I think we got to throw a couple little mowings in there. Right. Here and there. So, yeah. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we upload videos, which is basically every yes, day. Yes, or night. Um, and guys, be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night. Have a good night.